today's video, we're going to make an electronic track utilizing nothing but our splice content by synchronizing splice to our browser inside Force. So to do this, let's press menu, let's go over to settings, and the first thing we need to do is make sure we're connected to our Wi-Fi. So simply turn this on, and I've already connected. Now we hit splice, and we've already logged on to our account. If you haven't done this yet, make sure you check out the splice integration tutorial that walks you through this procedure. So what I'm going to do now is press check for updates. And now this is going to see what new sounds I've added to my splice account. So I've got 59 and it's now going to import these sounds directly into force via Wi-Fi. So now that we've synchronized our splice samples directly into force, let's head over to our browser and access these sounds. So press load, hit splice, and now I can search by pack. I've already created a project from our splice samples that we synchronize with force, which I will play you now, and then I'll walk you through the process of how this was put together. So the way I made this track was very straightforward. Um, it pretty much started with a vocal sample that I found from my Splice account, um, which I brought in and then just started to build everything around that. So let's go and find this sample now. Now this came from a pack called Femme Fatale. So inside here, I went to vocal hooks and then this is the sample that I used. Send me your way, send me your way. Don't so this was a great hook line for a house track. So once I had that, I then needed to find some kind of melodic pad that will work with the vocal. So I went searching in my library again, and then there was a pack that I downloaded called I Normous House. And inside here, there's a bunch of construction kits. And in number six, there were some awesome pad melodics. So this was an instant fill. Loaded this onto a clip and then added some of the percussion loops as well. So now with these elements, what I needed to do now was use the vocal line, but then we needed to treat this by detuning it, warping it, and then chopping it up into certain sections. So I added warp, put in the original tempo, which was 100 beats. So now this is time stretched to our tempo, and then moved it down a semitone. Send me your Send me away, don't wanna see it fade out. Send me away, send me away. So now I've got the fill that I wanted. What I needed to do was change the start position on the vocal loop. So I just chopped it up into four sections, moved the start point, and then on the very last section of the loop, I then wanted to detune this down by a number of semitones to give it some kind of more low vibe. Um, very popular in house music. So again, because everything's time stretched, it was easy to accomplish this. Send me away. Send me away. Don't wanna see it fade out. Send me away. Send me away. Add some internal effects. Don't wanna hear it all now. And that's the vocal. 
down by six semitones. So together, we've got so far. So for a lot of the percussive loops that I've added, these came from some of the packs from Defected on Splice. So let's go to our browser and I'll show you these. So go into packs. And then we had Frankie Rosado and the guys from Copyright. Um, some great backbone loops in here, melodics, drums, everything. So populated these onto some clips. See, now we've got our percussive elements in. Let's bring in everything else so far. So now all those parts are working, the next section I needed to create was really the backbone of the drums. So for this, I used a MIDI drum kit. So I went onto track three, notes mode, where I can access all my drum pads. And this is where I've populated all the one shots and vocal hits. And what's great about using an 8x8 grid is that I can have 64 sounds assigned to the drums instantly. So to make a drum kit, straightforward, I'm just going to hold down my track, select drum. So this brings up a MIDI drum kit go to notes mode, and now I'm going to hit an empty slot, go to my splice browser, and now I'm going to access the folder that I was using. So the pack is called Inorus House. So we'll go into this, and again, there's a bunch of like one shots, awesome stuff in here. And I'm just going to populate some snaps, some hats. Here's the vocal lick. So this gives you a basic overview how quickly you can just create a drum kit. So let's go back to the one that I used on the project, which is on number three. So here's all my sounds, again, all from Splice. Now for the bass sound, I've got a one shot here. And what I've done, I've created a key group program to assign my bass. So hold down an empty track, press key group. And what I'm going to do is assign that sample to a key group program and that will enable me to use that across all the keys. So when I go into notes mode, I can now take advantage of the key of the song to play my bass line. So there's the sound. And now we can use some of the call features inside notes mode, such as the key of the song or what root note we want to start with. So now we've done all that, let's hear our bass line over our track. If you also press clip, you can go straight into the piano roll and see all the notes. So now the bass is done, all we need to do is add the drums by using our step sequencer. So we just created a clip and let's go into the sequence. We're going to start everything off and let's trigger our clip that we're going to record the drums into and then press step sequence and you'll see the timeline moving. So we're going to start off with our kick drum. Now, if you hold select, you don't hear the drum. Set our velocities high. Hold step down, and then you can move to sections three and four of the sequence. Hold step again, go back to one and two. This is really the fun process when you're building up a track. Add some extra hats and now let's drop in our vocal. So now we've got everything done, the last section of this was setting up the controls in our knobs mode. So we've got some live control over the project. Now this is straightforward. I go into mixer, 
go into inserts and I added on the master kill EQs and filter. And then I assign these to my knobs one to eight. So I go into knobs mode. I've set up a high, a mid and low EQ kill. That's on six, seven and eight. And then on three and four, I added some reverb and delay for the vocals. And then one and two, I've got a low pass cutoff frequency and resonance filter. So let's play the full project. <laughs> 